Hey what's up guys, this is Jack Tiong and welcome back to another Android tutorial video. In this video, we are going to learn how we can actually create a submenu that obeys Android material design for the floating action button. This is in fact a very useful technique if you have a floating action button that can be further drilled down into several different actions. For example, how Evernote uses this technique is that each time when you press on the add button, you can choose from a list of relevant options which includes text note, handwriting, reminder, and so on. Now, although there are a couple of different ways to achieve this result, but if you think that develop it from scratch is too much of a hassle, then I would recommend you to use a third-party library called Floating Action Button developed by Clans because it comes with a lot of different customization and it's very easy to use, which is exactly what I'm going to show you later in this tutorial. All right, with that being said, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to open up the third-party library in GitHub. So go to google.com and type clans floating action button. Click on the first link, then scroll down until you find the dependency. Alright, after that, simply copy and paste it into your build.gradle file. Once you're done with that, make sure to hit on the signal button as well, or else it will not work. Okay, then head back to your browser. Scroll down a little bit more until you find the full implementation for floating action menu. Then simply copy the whole thing and paste it in your layout file. I'm going to remove the hello world text view as we don't need it. And paste it. To resolve these issues, simply point your cursor to one of the error line and press alternate enter. As you can see here, there are a couple of errors being reported because currently we don't have the image for our sub button and we have yet to define the show and hide animation for our main button as well. So first thing first, simply copy and paste the image that you want into the drawable directory. I'm going to use star image for the floating action button tag which is basically the sub floating action button. Alright, once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is to define both the show and hide animation. To do so, simply head back to your browser, and from the source code section, we need to navigate to the anim directory. And from here, there are a couple of animations for you to choose from. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to go with the hide to bottom.xml and show from bottom.xml. So what you're going to do next is to open up the file, copy everything, and paste it in your project under the same directory. Now from here, we need to first create a new directory called anim under the rest folder. Then create an animation resource file and paste everything inside. That's it! Just repeat the steps to define the next animation. Lastly, don't forget to assign these two animation XML files to the appropriate properties in the layout file. And since we are not going to customize the label style, I'm just going to remove this line. Alright, now let's try to run our app to see if everything is okay. Cool! Next, we are going to add a couple more sub buttons to our floating action menu and we are going to see how we can attach an unclick listener to one of the buttons. Okay, to add more sub buttons, all we need to do is to duplicate the floating action button tag but with a different ID of course. Alright, lastly, we need to navigate to the main activity class and define the unclick listener to one of the buttons. Alright, it seems to be good. Let's try to run our app one more time. Sweet! Now, just in case if you're wondering, this floating action button works well with constraint layout as well. But unfortunately, it doesn't work so well with the coordinator layout. So which means, if you would like to hide or show the customized floating action button on scroll, you might need to write additional codes for that. Well, I think that's it guys. We have successfully created a submenu that obeys Android material design for the floating action button. I've also included a link to the full source code of this video down in the description below. 
So if you like the video, be sure to hit on the like button, share it to your friends, and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.